What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And today, you guys know I am facing that way. That is because I am looking at my laptop because it is that time once again where I will be giving my predictions for the for the March 2020 ban list. So if you guys do not remember the ban list that we, that we got recently, we had the fucking cleanup crew. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. so many cards got banned. Obviously, or um, obviously, Orcus Harpoor got banned. Uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus, uh, uh Heavy Metal Foes Electromite, uh, Ib the World Child's Justice here. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, uh, Tempest Magician, Azathoth, Mirage Stalio, uh, Brilliant Fusion got banned as well. Uh, Engage got banned. That was a cleanup crew. Cleanup crew was incredible. Uh, Danger Nessie got got limited. Uh, Pankratops got limited. S uh, Servant of Endymion. Uh, True King. True King got banned. Two, uh, sorry, True King Lodosogen, the disaster. Uh, got limited. Uh, Card of Demise. Dragonic Diagram got limited. Got back. Got limited again. Um... Uh, Into the Void got limited. Pot of Avarice came back after, what, seven years? I, th I think it was like after seven years. Uh, Sekka's Light. Uh, yeah, yeah, Red red Reboot. And of course, the cards that are no long that are semi-limited were, were, Deep sea, were Deep Sea Diva, Tour Guide, and of course, Mind Control. And there were a lot of cards that were taken off the list. Obviously, Dark Arm Dragon, uh, Lady Debug. Uh, Morphine Jar number two, uh, Damage Juggler, Tribe, Tribe Virus, Tribe, sorry, Tribe Infecting Virus, uh, 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 Kagari as well, Book of Moon, uh, uh, the Phantom Knight Rank Up, Rank Up Launch, Soul Drain, and of course Soul Warning, all came. Those all, all the cards came to three. So today I'm gonna be give, give, giving you guys what I think we could expect to see happen in the March 2020 ban list. So we won't be get, getting this ban list. Until March 30th, so right around the end, right around the end of March, like right around the time that we're gonna be getting, that that we're gonna be getting dual, dual, dual overload, as well as the time where WrestleMania weekend will be coming into play. So obviously, the first card that we will be talking about is, is actually Crystalron Needle Fiber. And suppose, and of course, it may be so. It's called Neo Fiber in the OCG, but for us, but for us in the TCG, it's actually going to be called Crystalron Halclefibrax. And I can't believe I, I, I actually said, said that in one try. Wow. So if so if so so if you, for those who don't know what what this card does, it is a water attribute. It it, it is a water water attribute machine link monster. With 1,500 attack points, and its links are bottom left, bottom right, and it and it, it and it requires two monsters. One of them must be a tuner. Must be a tuner monster. So it says here, if this card is linked summoned, you can special summon a one level three or lower tuner from your hand or deck into vents, but it can't. Act, but but. It cannot activate its effects this turn. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, as a quick effect, you can banish this card, especially summon a synchro tuner from your extra deck, which that would be treated as a synchro summon. And you can only use each effect once per turn. So hands down, so hands down, you know, you know that once this card gets gets released for us in the in the in the in the um in the TCG, you know everybody's gonna be running three, and it's with with the March ban list, banned easy. I'm 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 saying it now. Needle Needle Fiber is going to get banned. It's going to get banned one way or another. So, but of but of course too, this is a really a, a really great way for a lot of decks decks that can facilitate that that facilitate that facilitate synchros. It'll it'll give them. A bigger chance, it'll actually 
give it'll actually allow them to make um make cards like 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 Formula Synchron, Coral Dragon, uh Livestream Dragon as well, which is a, actually a a, little, a Dragon Tuner Synchro. Um uh, uh oh, what's that one? What was it called? Oh, uh, that magician. What was it called? Oh yeah. Oh, I think it's Tech Genius Wonder Magician, um, which is actually a really good one. So, de so while while that that may that may be the case, this card is absolutely fucking broken. Just just the just giving you the ability to just summon a synchro tuner from your extra deck like right off the bat is absolutely mind blowing. So you know this card is gonna get banned. So talking about Orcus, so there are so many different, so so there are so so many different Orcus decks that are out there right now. Obviously, the main one is actually Cyber Orcus, which is Orcus and Cyber Dragons rolled into one. Honestly, I think they need to ban. Um, just looking at the just look just by looking at the Exceed monsters that are banned. So right now we have we have Lavalval Chain. MX Saber Invoker, number number sixteen Shockmaster, number forty two Galaxy Tomahawk, number eighty six Her Heroic Champion Rongo Miniad, Rongo Minod Miniad, yeah. Uh, number ninety five Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon, of course Azathoth Mirage Dalio, uh, Teller Knight Ptolemus, uh, Wind Up Carrier Zen Mighty. Uh, and, and then of course the Zodiac Engine, Broadbolt, and Trident. So right now I can so I can definitely see Dengirsu, the Orcus of the Evening Star, get banned because because of what it's able to do. And I'll actually read off its effects. So uh, here we are. All right. So let's see. So. So, Dengirsu, or the Orcus of the Evening Star, is a Dark Attribute Rank 8 Machine Exceeds monster with 2600 attack and 2100 defense. And it requires two, two level 8 monsters, so, so it is, so it is, so it is generic, but it, but it, it kind of just works, um, but it, but you can also use an, an Orcus Link, Link monster if you want. Uh, so it says here you can you can only special summon Dingirsu once per turn. You can also exceed some of this card by using a and by using an Orcus Link monster you control as material. If a card or card you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. If this card is, spe is special summon, you can activate one of these effects. Send send a card from your opponent. Send one card your opponent controls to the grave. Attach one of your Bash Machine monsters to this card to this card's material. So right there. So so. So obviously, if you activate Overload Fusion, which Overload Fusion banishes banishes your cyber Dra your which banishes your machine monsters fr from you know from your graveyard to go for one of your dark to go for one of your Chimera Tech Fusion monsters, you can use Dingirsu's effect to take one of them and attach it as its as its material. That right there is just broke is just broken on its own. And just the fact that just the fact that you're able to just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over again just to keep it on, on the field that right there in, in my opinion I think it should that's one of the main reasons why I think it should be banned is it's just, it's just because of the fact that it's able to be it's able to facilitate um, it's able to just continue to get to get back your machine monsters and attach it to himself as a material. That's why I I, I think that that card should be banned. An another card as well going into Orcus that should that should get banned as well is Orchestrated Nightmare. I believe that's the name of it. Um um Here we are. Orcus Nightmare. I think honestly I I think Orcus could or, uh I think Orcus Nightmare could be an could be an another card that we see get banned. Because it's also a because it's a it's a level seven Orcus so Orcus Nightmare is a dark machine seven star monster a thousand uh, sorry uh, sorry a hundred attack two thousand defense so so here's what what its effects say cannot be destroyed by battle with a link monster 
can cannot be destroyed by battle with with the link monster. So just right there, right right there alone is pretty generic for Orcus. Uh, you can banish this card from your grave and target a face monster on the field. You cannot special summon monsters except dark monsters. For the rest of this turn, you can also send a dark machine monster from your deck to the graveyard, except Orcus Nightmare. And if you do, the targeted monster gains attack points equal to the level of the monster sent to the graveyard times a hundred until the end until the end of the turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. So that right there, just being able to give give one of your dark dark machine monsters an additional hundred, you know, you know, a, a, you know, additional power. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm just not really feeling it at this point. Like right now, like right now, as I said before, um, you know, you know, Harp Horror is actually the, actually is the only card for Orcus anyway that's banned. So I definitely think that 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 Dengirsu, Nightmare and Crescendo, Orcus 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 Crescendo, um, could be could be the ones that. Could very may well get banned, and also Babel. I think Babel should be banned as well. I'm, 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 I'm e either banned or limited. I, I would say, but Crescendo is a really interesting card because it says here when a spell or trap because it is actually a counter trap. So, and of course too, we all know the only way for you to negate counter traps is by using another counter trap. Your uh, is by using a counter trap of your own. So it says here when a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated while you control an Orcus Link monster. Negate the activation if you do banish that card. You can banish this card from your grave. Add, add to your hand one of your dark machine monsters that is banished or in your deck. You, you, you cannot, you cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this effect. Except dark machine monsters, you can only use, use one Orcus crescendo effect per turn and only once that turn. So right there, just being able to, to. Just recycle your dark machine monsters is just absolutely broken, and I think again the entire the that 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 whole engine should should be banned. That way, you know, that way cyber dragons can can get a pure support can 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 you know they can get pure pure support and cyber dragons can, can just be a pure deck on its own. Orcus is just way too powerful, so that that's just my opinion anyway. So going into um. Going into the Sky Striker engine, there's really nothing, nothing to do for them except just probably, except except to just keep it the way it is. I would probably put, put in instead of putting Kagari at putting Kagari at three, I would probably I probably would have put them at one because of how because of how powerful it is, and I'll showcase. Um, Let's see. So I think um, just seeing just seeing Kagari, I think is just um, honestly, I think uh, seeing seeing Kagari at three is just not there. Um, yeah. So be yeah. So so with this, it's pretty simple, you know. Um, so once. Um, so once once Kagari is summoned, you can target a Sky Striker spell in your grave, add it to your hand. So it was obviously it was obviously able to facilitate engage like right off the bat, and and and, and then of course it would gain gain hundred points for for every spell in the grave. So I I, I would just put put it at one. So so yeah, that that's just my personal opinion. Um, another card as well, another an, another deck engine that we could also see get banned is. Potentially the entire danger engine. So right now we have Jackalope and Suchunoko at two, and we also have Nessie at one. I could definitely see. Um, I can definitely see the rest of the engine get limited to one, because even be because e even with that, it might honestly just with that. If the entire engine were to get limited to one or possibly get banned. I would I I can definitely see 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 Thunder Dragons get 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 extra support and also Dark Worlds. I know that I mentioned that in my last video, in my last in my last prediction video, but we can also see Dark Worlds get 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 a little bit of support as well, like possibly like possibly a ritual monster, you know, or even a fusion because I know that I know that um 
that when when the deck was first introduced, um, there were there were supposed to have been <clears throat> a um, they were supposed to have re re they were supposed to have released a fusion in Strike and Neos, which was actually the last set that they that we were getting that that gave us dark that gave us the rest of of the Dark World support, or so we thought. Uh, so yeah, so I could definitely see um, see the Danger Engine get get limited or possibly uh, banned. Um, honestly, there's really nothing none, there's really nothing else else to talk about. But an another thing as well that I noticed going into the band going in, in into the cards that are banned. Um, I noticed I didn't I didn't see it but there are so I could so another card that I could definitely see get banned uh, which honestly wouldn't really make any sense but um but I can definitely see um but definitely Appaloosa I could definitely see you know what you know what no no, I could I could see um, IP IP definitely getting banned. It's a weird one. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Um. I'm literally trying to find it. Here we are. Here we are. So I think honestly, I know that we just that we just recently got it in in Chaos Impact. But I could definitely see IP Mascarina get get getting banned because I mean with with I mean with with Master Rule Five now, you know, you know, coming in, coming in, and we and, and and the fact that we don't have to use so many, you know, you know, so many link monsters to, you know, to facilitate our fusions or synchros and whatnot, I think IP IP could could, could be one of the big hits, uh, for the March ban list because it because just to read off its effect, and 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 obviously it requires two not link monsters, monsters so you go you can use and and exceeds. A fusion and effect monster, you, you, you can use whatever, but they cannot be link monsters. But it says here during your opponent's main phase, you can, as a quick effect, you can immediately, after this, after this effect resolves, link summon one link monster using materials you control, including this card. You can only use this effect of IP Masquerade per turn. A link monster that uses that uses this card as a material cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, this right here is another. So, so this card. You would so so with this card, you would be able to just facilitate automatically facilitate Boral Sword Dragon, Borlo Dragon, um, you know, uh, Galatea as well. Go you know going into Dengirsu, which is another card that we should that should be banned. Um, you know, and also be able to to facilitate Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. Just imagine that using IP Mascarina and two other and two other monsters to summon. Appaloosa. That is just so. That is like real cheesy, and I mean that as a, and I don't mean that as a meme. You know, I I I I'm, I mean that quite literally. That is that is like the biggest cheese you could ever see. So I so I I can definitely see Appaloosa get banned. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. There really wasn't much to to talk about honestly but let me know in the comments below what what cards or what decks you guys think should tech should get hit on the ban list and if you guys enjoy this video smash the thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way and be sure to follow me on twitter and instagram my links will be down in the description below and if you guys, and if you guys have any family any form of family you want to send me because I do want to read, read all, read those letters to to you guys. Um, my um, my address will be at the top of the description below. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.